We follow an open and inclusive uh, lab policy where students at all levels they can come uh, and spend their time in the lab. They can work very closely with PhD students in their respective projects. We ask students to be really sure of what it is that they're doing and so we ask them not just to test theories in a lab with equipment but to test equipment to understand how equipment works right this is uh, the level at which we are trying to ensure that students have not just a surface understanding of the world and of science but a deep understanding Ashoka University offers you cutting edge single molecule techniques to understand the complex biological system thus you are not only learning biology but you are also learning physics chemistry, how to make the instrument, how to write down the codes along with the biology. How do you plan your scientific experiments? How do you troubleshoot when things go wrong? How do you interpret your results? And uh, what, what, what are ethical ways of carrying out scientific research? So these are the main things which we want to build into uh, the undergraduate researchers. We have teachers from different domains who are actually very good in different units of biology. What's good about Ashoka is it's connected with uh, other institutes of India and we get to attend these uh, talks which are really interesting by prominent scientists of India. Ashoka provides us with a lot of uh, high-end research facilities. Ashoka University is one of the few places which offers a PhD degree in evolution. All biology faculty in Ashoka, the way uh, other faculty in other disciplines of Ashoka, also are very active in research. My primary uh, interest in the research is to understand how immune response evolves. My lab uh, in Ashoka University studies how cells uh, regulate their shape as they carry out various cellular functions. I am working with chronobiology. This uh, research concerns why we do things at particular times of the day and night cycle. In my lab, we understand um, how communication systems work, specifically in insects, you know, the crickets and bush crickets that you hear calling late at night how the protein work under force inside our body. To understand that, we established covalent magnetic tweezer. I do work with fruit flies. I'm trying to see uh, evolution of immunopathology in them. I am currently working with the model organism Tribolian Castanium, which is the red flower tissue. I'm looking at their population dynamics and how the population dynamics changes under different environmental stress.